five weeks ago, I didn't really have experience. I was bedroom DJing. And then to think that I am going to play it in a club in Vegas, oh my God, it made it so real. But at the same time, it's still competition. So at the end of the day, only one person can go forward. When I decided I wanted to be a DJ, I really wanted to take that step to make it my whole life. All my family's in Brazil, and they're all really, really poor, so the fact that I'm even here getting to do this is a really big deal. And my mom would just be really proud to raise someone that like really got something accomplished. And I'm really, really determined. When I want something, I go and get it. Miss Kyle Wolf. Hi. Tell me about that feeling when your name got called. I honestly felt really excited. I felt like I rocked the house. Was there any area you felt like you could improve on? A couple tracks that I didn't feel vibe with the crowd, so I kind of want to like switch them around. As a DJ, you have to be versatile. The set that you played at Mad Ave was amazing, and it was very cool for that venue, but it might go down a little bit too hard-edged for a pool party. In my set, I kind of just let it rip, because that's just who I am. That's what I would do in my room, and that's what I would do in front of a thousand people. To have to kind of dim it down a little bit for the pool scene. It's going to be a challenge for me. I think it's going to be hard, but like hard situations like this make me grow. So I'm down for the challenge. Awesome. Good luck. Let's go. It's difficult, like especially with the female stereotype. We all earn to be here. Even if I was doing an interview and I got ask how do you feel about being a female DJ? I mean, my answer will and always will be, what do you mean? Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Because we're all artists. Yeah. Cheers, girl. Cheers. DJing has always been a very manly driven occupation. You know, I think there's great examples out there why female DJs can be taken so serious. I mean, we have the Nervo girls, you know, Cruella. Hello. Hey. Hi, how are you? I'm Yasmin. How are you? Today I'm playing Wet Republic in Vegas and I kind of want to meet the six lovely individuals who are playing after me. I'm trying to put myself in the shoes of who I was as a DJ four and a half years ago and I can totally imagine how scared they are right now. You're going to get people who are going to be having fun already so just play like crazy, play what your heart feels, whatever you want to play, whatever tracks you're stoked about. Corella is a huge inspiration to me, especially since they were females in this industry, making a really big impact on people. You're gonna come across the term female DJ a lot, and that always bothered me. You're not like, no, oh, you're a male DJ, that's so yeah. cool. Yeah. You're a male DJ? <laughs> what? No, no, no. Squash that discrimination. You should never feel like you have a handicap or anything, because yeah. the second you get on stage, it's like, this is, I shouldn't have even said that because this is what I live for. Yasmin really brought it to life that it's really not like a big deal and as long as you don't give it the negative attention then you're fine, you know, you just worry about the music and, and your talent and what you can do. Be excited, don't be yeah. I feel way better now and I think I can get it done. Hello. Hi. Hey. How's Vegas treating you? It's always good to be in Vegas. And what are you uh, working on? my set for Wet Republic. Like, I have two different styles. What I really want to play and what I think I should play for a pool party is kind of two different things. Well, how, how does your set list look, look like? Okay. I really like trap. Like, mm -hmm. I like heavy trap. I like Kaya's energy a lot. She has a great passion for the music. I think the crowds will love her. I would be surprised if they don't go off on what she's going to play. The biggest mistake you can make is, is play something because you think somebody else wants to hear it. Yeah. You know, you gotta, you gotta start from yourself, from the inside, from what do I want to represent. Mm -hmm. You can't just play just because people want to expect you to play something. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. He's a huge inspiration, so to have him really listen to what I have to say and, and hear my story out and know me as an artist is just a really big deal. Having a meeting with Tiesto really inspired me to just make the decision on my set and play kind of what I feel is right. And I changed my set at 5.30 this morning. All the work I've been doing and all the hours I've been putting in and just staying up really late and working on my set, like, it's about to pay off right now. <laughs> You wake up a couple people in the back with a song like this, yeah? Palm sweating, shaking, I want to throw up. But as soon as I got up there, my nerves instantly went away. Now 
like her energy, I like her mixing. Damning in front of Tiesto, having him literally be watching my entire set was absolutely insane. Kaya, what did you think? Amazing stage presence. You know, performance was great, mixing was great, and there were a lot of cool tracks in there. I went up there and showed something completely different. I showed a lot of originality. Kaya is, is a, a real talent. I have absolutely no regrets with that set. I thought I killed it. I'm a little surprised. You did notice a, a drop down in the crowd's energy at that point. I enjoy the style that Kaya plays. I just don't know if it was necessarily the right vibe for this environment. I kind of feel like I'm ready for it all, and I, I definitely don't want to stop at all. This is going to be one of the biggest performances in my life. How does that feel? I'm very scared. Do you know what you're going to play? Yeah, I'm going to play my original. I'm writing a song for Your Shot USA. Now it's time for the judges. 